Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hay, the Lawn Care Nut, and thank you for coming back for yet another week. Now, today's gonna be a quick video, and the reason I'm getting this together is because Independence Day, 4th of July, is just around the corner, and a lot of you are gonna be having guests over. Depending where you live, you may have to limit the number of guests that you have, but the idea is you'd like to have some sort of cookout or event out on the lawn, and you want it to be looking extra dark green when your friends come over. Now, in the video today, you're gonna see me turning some yellow St. Augustine grass, dark blue green, in a very very short amount of time. The idea is for you to look at that as a worst case scenario. If you're somebody that your lawn's already fairly green and you just wanna kinda of take it to another level, just imagine the results you will get when you use the product that I'm gonna show you today. Hey, what's up y'all? Quick video today. So I'm in the midst of doing a project lawn on this little soccer field here. I don't actually know when I will be publishing that video because that looks terrible right now. <laughs> so that'll be a little ways because I want to give you the full before and after. But while I'm here, I'm also doing some experiments on chlorosis and St. Augustine grass. It's something I've been seeing a lot of lately. People think it's actually take all root rot, which is a disease, but in most cases it's not. It's just iron chlorosis. And in this case, we can see it here in the St. Augustine grass right over here. See how it's real yellow? You'll have, you'll have some blades that are this yellow and you'll have some that are this dark green right here. That's the iron chlorosis. And my assumption is it's this mango tree right here that's taking all of the iron from the soil. You can see the mangoes here are falling. And uh, that's my assumption because you can see it. It's concentrated right in through here. And then we also have, it's a little bit up through here. This is the soccer field I'm working on over here. But you can also see it over here. There's also a mango here. And uh, it's all around here. It's also over into there, but it's definitely here. And I don't know how invasive the root system of a mango is, but that's just my guess. Any of you that know any better can tell me, but for sure, this is not take all root rot. This is just iron chlorosis. All right, so as far as how we're gonna take care of the chlorosis, we're gonna use the 700 green effect. The reason why is this is full of iron. It's got 6% iron, which is the highest thing we have in our line. But the big thing is, is it's fortified with citric acid and citric acid acts as an adjuvant. And essentially when I say it acts as an adjuvant, what that means is it makes the iron available to be taken in through the foliage of the plant. Usually particles are too large to be taken in that way. That's why we say water everything in so the plant can take it in through the roots. But in this case, that mango tree will just keep stealing the iron. So we need to get it in via the foliage. And this is the product to do that. You spray it on in a fine mist, or I'm gonna use my pump sprayer there. That's actually a flood nozzle, but it'll be enough. And then you let it sit for about 30 minutes and it, all the intake happens within minutes. You could water it in after that or just leave it or whatever you want. but. That's it. It, it, it all gets taken in within minutes and it should green up within two days, but sometimes it'll green up within hours. Um, but it should green up within a couple days and last about 30 days and you can just repeat as needed. Okay, now you're not gonna be able to tell from in here, but I wanna stress that this product absorbs through the grass foliage. It's the only product in the Green County line that has that ability. All the others need to be watered in and they're taken in by the roots or some of them are just for the soil, that kind of thing. This is the one product though that can be absorbed by the grass blades. So it's got that citric acid in there as I mentioned. It's also got lignin and garlic oil. Those are both elements, again, that help this product to get into the plant directly and very quickly. The other thing is this is the only product in the line that doesn't have humic acid in it. There's no sea kelp, any of that. This is really a product that is only designed to do one thing and that is turn the lawn double dark green really fast. Don't forget from now until June 28th, we have all of the next Green County products, the four packs, the four gallon packs and the five gallon packs discounted seven dollars there's no coupon needed it's just seven dollars off you can use the build a box you can put one of these in there and a couple two tree other things that you may need and you still have plenty of time to get stocked up and time for fourth of july to get your app down and get the lawn looking double dark blue green so all of your friends can notice your hard work okay now as far as applications go you saw me using my two gallon pump sprayer here and i got this flood nozzle i'll link all this below you probably won't have time to get this whole setup though if you're looking to get this done before july 4th but let me just give you some advice because this application absorbs through foliage, you wanna get a finer mist. This flood nozzle works just fine, but if you have any pump sprayer that has a mist nozzle or a fan tip nozzle, that's gonna work because you want this to stick on the leaves and you'll actually see when you spray it, it has like a sheen to the leaves where it sticks. And uh, that's probably the garlic oil that's in there helping that do that. Uh, but you're gonna, you'll notice that for sure. So definitely apply with a pump sprayer if you can. However, if you wanna use a, an ortho dialin spray like most of us do, then you wanna go ahead and put it on the, I call it the bird mouth, but it's the one setting that kinda gives you a little bit more of a fan. 
and you just want to coat this across there. Again, this is going to go down with more water and that's okay. You're still going to get plenty of foliar absorption. You could water this in after 30 minutes. All of the absorption happens in the first few minutes anyway, and then you can water it in and whatever's left over will get taken in through the roots. So you're not going to lose anything. So you can use a hose in sprayer if you want, just use that bird mouth setting. People always ask, I'm gonna do a full, I'm gonna do a video coming up on the ortho sprayer and all that because I get a lot of questions about it. But I can tell you this product flows really well. It's super thin, so you won't have any problem getting it through your ortho or your pump sprayer, whichever you decide. Okay, so I'm back here real quick to show some results I got on some chlorotic turf. And uh, I didn't bring my blower, so there's a lot of mango leaves down, but I'll still try to give you the best before and afters I can because it's definitely an improvement. So if you'll remember, this part here is of a project lawn. I'm not gonna show you most of that. I'm still working on it, zoysia. This is all St. Augustine, and this was all, and there's some zoysia here. This was all extremely chlorotic, where all of the grass blades were yellow underneath this mango tree, because the mango was taking all of the nutrients, including iron, out of the soil. And so we used the 700 green effect to correct that problem. And you can see, you can see through these mango leaves, it is dark green now. Over here on this side, you can see this was all yellow before, and over here was all yellow as well. You can see there's a spot I missed right here. That spot right there, <laughs> I missed. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the untreated area looks like versus the treated area. Okay, so here I am back at this little experiment. I got a project lawn right over there. I'm not gonna show you that yet, it's not ready. It's a zoysia rehab. Just so you guys know, if you're trying to rehab zoysia, it is a slow process. I'll teach you a lot of things about it because I'm now doing two uh, zoysia lawns, but I want to wait till I get to the end of that before I show you all that. But I did want to give you an update on this project out here with the uh, St. Aug that was having issues with iron chlorosis, or basically it was just in need of nutrients and I got some into it real quick. So now this is, let's see, what is today? I don't even know. 24th. So today is the 24th, and the application I did was at the end of May. So this is like 25, 26 days later. Now the, the results came with within a couple of days, but I wasn't here to see that. So, but you can see here at 25, 26 days, still holding strong. And uh, look at that, I'll show you some before and afters. I'll kind of do like a whole thing here. But I wanna show you, I did miss one area, and it's right here, and you can see. So this gives you a before and after just right here. Can you see that spot right there? That's an area I missed. So it's still got the chlorosis and all around it is darker green. Kind of missed right through there, you see that? And you can even see a difference, it's our own domination line. This is where I stopped spraying over there and that's where they're taking care of it. Just normally the homeowner takes care of this. He's actually following a plan I gave him. Um, however, it doesn't involve the 700 so you can see the difference right there, even though that looks really good. If I just did that, You'd be like, oh, that looks pretty good for St. Augustine. This here is full fertilizer and everything, store-bought stuff. He's also doing that same over here, but I juiced it with the 700. So you get a little bit of a before and after here. You get store-bought only, which looks good. I mean, if you looked at it, it looks good. And then here you have his store-bought apps plus my 700 app. And again, this is turf that was chlorotic. Let me show you over here. I didn't spray too heavy in here because this is where they stand a lot when they're doing their practice shots or whatever, but uh, still nice difference in there. But the real difference comes over here in this area where that was all yellow previously. Now it's all greened up. And keep in mind, this is like 25 or 26 days later, it's still holding. Um, it'll probably hold another week, maybe, maybe two, but this is something you'd wanna apply every 30 to 40 days or so. It shouldn't really last much longer than that, even though the color is definitely holding strong. Um, but just because we've corrected it this one time, it doesn't mean that the trees aren't still robbing nutrients. So eventually this will fade out, but that's a pretty good app there, 700 green effect. You know, every 35 days or so, nice little foliar intake get color response like that. It's also a great way to get ready if you got a party coming up, 4th of July coming up, because you do get fast results. Because it absorbs through the foliage, you're gonna get super fast results. Like I said, probably really results within 48 hours, but I don't wanna overpromise. So definitely results within a week or so. Feel 
look just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna last When nothing else makes sense, just dance What you gonna do? So there you go guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Just a quick one here midweek for those of you that are getting ready for your Independence Day festivities and want to have that lawn double dark blue green in preparation. Hope your summer's going great. As always, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the lawn. Maybe